So what's up guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is your boy G Adam Slink. Yesterday we had a discussion about uh, Cassie and Didi. When Cassie sued Didi for the sum of 30 million US dollars for some uh, major atrocities, uh, Didi made her do uh, sleeping with uh, a man. Why Didi will record it and a lot of other drugs matter, but Yesterday, I made a remark. I said, at the end of the day, the best option for Didi, in order for this matter not to escalate, is to call Cassie, sit with Cassie, discuss with Cassie, and have a common ground with Cassie. And that is exactly what Didi did. That is exactly what Didi did. According to the news yesterday, as of today, they said that Didi and Cassie settled lawsuit outside the court so according to the statement they said according to the statement from cassie she said i have decided to resolve this matter amicably on terms that i have some level of control i want to thank my family fans and lawyer for their unwavering support then statement from uh, puff daddy said we have decided to resolve this matter amicably I wish Casey and her family all the best. Love. And uh, the joint statement said, I am very proud of um, Mrs. Cassie for having the strength to go public with her lawsuit. She ought to be recommended for doing so. Well, she went public and, and also sued for 30 million US dollars. And that I think at least that girl will take 10 million US dollars home from uh, Puff Daddy. And she will write a clause never to ever speak on this matter ever, 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 ever again. And she don't cash out. So that doesn't mean the the, the allegations are true or not. But a guilty, not guilty conscience is not afraid now. So I think maybe the allegations, most of the allegations are definitely true though. And uh, she did, and she's not innocent. She was loving the ride. She loved every bit of it, every bit of everything. She was loving it. She loved it so, so much. So, and she went on with it, but now it did backfire and she needed money. She wanted to, she, she felt like she has lost so much, so she needed to collect money. So she has collected and she has rest. At least you'll get like 10 to 15 million. So, that's why. I ban for her. In order for other people not to start coming out, before you know it, now people will start coming out. This one will start saying, yes. Did he, did he, did he, did that? Did he actually made the right choice or by just letting this matter go, you know, settle, settling it outside court? And guess what, guys? The day we do show, he canceled last year because of uh, his son's death. That you people were mocking him about that he wasn't able to sell out the shows. Guess what? How much are tickets? Tickets are now selling, selling for as high as 2K per person. 2k dollars that means 2 million naira per person for tickets just check it guys section 3 rule h 1400 section 2 row f 2000 us dollars section 2 row d 2000 section 2 row c 2000 up they will write and say cash out this was a, a, a show that david Doe was trying to organize us at last year and because of uh, the son's death, he had, he had to pause the away show and uh, in, in Atlanta, it's a festival that is trying to be organizing every year in Atlanta. He paused it. After he paused it, you know, a lot of uh, other celebrity fans coming for him, telling saying that he paused the show because tickets were not selling. Oh boy, tickets are selling you now. And if tickets are selling, it will be higher the demand, the higher the prices. And now David is about to catch out real bad from that show. Real bad, like well from that show. David, don't take it easy now. Take it easy. Take it easy. 2,000 US dollars. 2 million naira per person. Eh? Let us say like 50,000 person attended. You know how much that? But these guys, they make money. These guys are cashing out. 
two million per person. You know how much be that? Eh? You know how much? Well, speaking about money, speaking about money, guys, let's uh, check out what Mikhail. Mikhail was uh, interviewed recently, and he talked about how family are so making money as a Nigerian in some Africa country, making money as an individual. The money is not only for you. We already know that the money is not only for you. The money is meant for your family and people who think, who think they have hold on your money, that they have responsibility to eat your money. You get threatened by your own blood, your own. Do you know what we're going to do? Sisters. Me and you're going to do a documentary about this. When you come from Africa, and this is something I don't think we speak a lot about. When you make money, mm. it's not your money. You have all these relatives, cousins, whatever you call it. Who you didn't know. Yeah. Mm. You know, and your sisters, they go off and they get married to some guy, you know, who just wants to get married to, in, to John Obi Mikhail's family because mm. then my life is sorted. Mm. And then you start looking at this guy. Before you know it, you're looking at them, where, where, where is it? You're on less than them. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they keep having so many kids and so many kids. And you're looking at, okay, you're having this much kids. Who's going to look after them? Mm. It's you. The, it's culture, the culture. That they expected to, you yeah, to do that. For them, you owe them that. So you sometimes you have to be strong and say, you know what, guys, enough is enough. I don't care. They give you this thing whereby if you don't do it, we're going to go to the press. Oh, wow. Man, what, did you have them conversations? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? After all, all I've done for you guys. But this happens a lot. To all the players, a lot of the players. In, your in Africa, I'm telling you, not everybody comes out and speak about it because we're thinking, how are we going to talk about this? It's the truth. And if you check the comments under this poster, you say how some other Nigerians are blasting Mikel Obi. Go and hustle. Leave your brother money alone. Also, if your brother gives you Alhamdulillah, they are a good family like that. Very, very good family. Their brother are even willing to assist because their brothers and, and do not ask. They are so eager to assist. Go and also. Don't be entitled. No be your papa money. Go and also. I'm talking to you. You, you, you. That is watching now. That is about to feel entitled to your brothers. No be your money. Go and also. It is not your money. Go also, guy. Woman, go and also. Someone has worked all his life or her life, and the next thing you just want to sit down, get married, have kids, and expect another your sister, your brother to take care of your kids. In as much as it's good to give, in as much as it's good to take care of uh, your siblings, if you have money. Same thing goes again. God also said it's a sin to be a beggar. <laughs> you know, don't you guys see that part? Always beg, beg, beg. It's a sin. It becomes sinful. It's a sin. God may talk him like that. He didn't say he no reason now. Because he knows say a lot of human beings. Human beings are desperately wicked. Desperately wicked to the point that they will feel entitled to someone else's money. Money may not be your own. You don't know how to take come. You don't know the also. You don't know the grand. You just want to feel entitled to it. Hmm? You want to feel entitled to it. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> if you say how people blast me or be for this talk, eh? now the truth be that you will sit at home and be expecting someone to work his, his or her as uh, 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 or simply because you guys are blood. And because of that, you want to start telling. And they will say, okay, set your brother up, set your sister up. Of course, they do set them up for life. Give them money to start a business. They squander the business, hoping to go back to your to, to that guy as well. Guy, if that may be them, man, eh? cop boy, you don't get it again. And I'll cut you off. If we have to block you, eh? You don't feel rich, me again. You don't even near my house again. You are not longer my brother. What the hell? But there are some brothers that are really, really trying. All those who are ahead them, give them well, let them know, say, yeah, they are not entitled. Help them. So, during this video, uh, check out this news. This uh, political news from Malawi. They say Malawi President Lazarus has suspended. 
foreign trade for himself and cabinet member. He has also reduced fuel allowances of senior government officials by 50% due to inflation. He planned to increase the salary of civil servants to ease the cost of living. Why is it that whenever we, the federal government, want to learn any form of, uh, they want to learn from any other country, we, also, we, we, we always learn from them by increasing tax, uh, adding tax, tax to things. Increasing it, increasing it, increasing tax, increasing school fees, increasing this. But we never learn all those kind of stuff. Is it that our federal government know they see this kind of uh, development from other countries to see the sacrifices that uh, government workers just to see the sacrifices that politicians are making on behalf of uh, the citizens? Is it that it's only citizens that will always make sacrifices on behalf of the uh, of the government? Why they know they see all those kind of things? Have you ever said that? Why is that in the city that the only that the one always making sacrifices? Sacrifices. Sacrifices for them. No, they're making sacrifices for us. May they go look this kind of news now. I be they know this year.